Hey, what's up? This is Spider Prime 1, and I'm trying something new. Uh, with the recent, well, not recent, but uh, with the upcoming uh, string of Marvel movies, uh, among all the other uh, summer blockbuster movies coming out, um, there is the new Captain America, the new Spider Man, and the Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, and I felt like I, I wanted to talk about. Uh, my comic book side, um, not just dwelling on Transformers and, um, uh, just showing random train videos, which I will continue to do, um, but I felt I wanted to get some more, a, a, a bright, broader audience, um, so I figured I would talk on, um, superheroes, which I am a huge, huge superhero fan, uh, both Marvel and DC. Um, but unfortunately, the DC Minimates uh, didn't take off as well as the Marvel Minimates, two of which are standing here right now. Um, and the only DC Minimate which I have is uh, the animated series Joker because I wanted a Joker figure. Um, all the rest of the Minimates I have are Marvel. Um, and I'm sad to see that the DC ones didn't take off as well, but I, if I can hunt some of them down, I would love to review them, besides just the Joker. But the majority of them are Marvel, so I will be talking a lot about the Marvel side of the, the comic book stuff. Um... But I may bring in other comic book related things. So with that long-winded intro out of the way, um, not too long ago we got a new trailer for uh, The Amazing Spider-Man 2, and it was a, a three-minute trailer. And it kind of showed more or less the origin of, uh, the movie origin of Electro. Um, and his connection to Spider-Man. So I figured it, what better place to start with these than with the two-pack uh, that has Electro in it um, and the insulated suit Spider-Man or rubber suit Spider-Man, whichever it's called, I don't remember. Um, so let's look at Electro here real quick. Um, he's in his uh, original costume. Well, I don't know if it's original original, but pretty close, um, where he's got the, the five-pointed spiky mask uh, and then the green and yellow jumpsuit. Um, he has two accessories, which are the little uh, electro bolt uh, clip-on pieces here, which just snap around his wrist. Um, he, I like the the detailing on his chest, showing uh, the ribs and the and his pecs and stuff like that, interwoven with the uh, the costume. Uh, makes it seem a little bit more 3D. I know they can't shave away the block piece here, but it, what, what, what can you do? Um, I love the mask. The mask is really nice. The eye holes are a little too deep, um, and you can't really like see, see what his face looks like. Um, and I don't know if this is with all of them, but on mine, the mask sits just a little too low, so you can't really... Like, his eyes get cut off at the top here, instead of sitting in the center. So you have to lift his mask up just ever so slightly, um, so that his eyes sit where they're supposed to. Um, and then you t if you take the mask off entirely, uh, you can see Max Dillon's face. Um, I don't remember if in the mainstream Marvel universe, if Max Dillon had hair or not after he became Electro, um, but it doesn't really matter. I don't ever really take the helmet off anyways, but uh, this is just to show you what um, his face looks like in all its blurry detail. Um, so I'll put the, the mask back on. So yeah, there's Electro. Um, it's a pretty good rendition of Electro. I like it. Um, stand him up. And then we will grab the 
rubber suit, insulated suit, Spider-Man, uh, which for obvious reasons as to why he's packed with Electro, so that he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Electro instead of just wearing the pink rubber gloves he borrowed from Ash Ketchum. Um, read the first appearance of Electro. You'll know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, he's wearing a altered suit uh, that's just padded together and stitched together with pieces of um, non-conductive materials. So that way he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Electro without getting electrocuted. Um, and as you can tell with the rounded bit here, and it's not flat, he too is wearing a mask. So let's see what uh, Peter Parker's face looks like. Um, I'm sorry, that's not Peter Parker. Uh, oh, that's his... Oh. Why would you wear two masks? Spider-Man, I, I, I can't imagine your vision is all too good behind a mask. Uh, I can understand part of the, the spider sense helping out with that a bit. But um, two sets of masks just seems like a bad idea. But it does look better than your regular mask just sitting on top of a, a completely different costume. Although in that case, why didn't they just make this a headpiece instead of an uh, extra, uh, an extra mask? Um, but what are you gonna do? So um, and uh, mini mates have a fourteen point articulation system, one being the head, which can turn all the way around, and uh, it's on a ball joint. These are all ball joints at the neck, shoulder, um, and hip. So he's got one, two, and three, four, and five, uh, six, and seven, and then eight is his waist, uh, nine and ten are the hips, uh, eleven and twelve, and then thirteen and fourteen is the foot. So, for being about two inches tall, you can get a lot of good uh, poses out of them. If you're not doing it behind a camera. Um, but so, yeah, there's the insulated Spider-Man and Electro set two-pack. Um, I don't know what wave these guys came from. I know it's about two years old, maybe three, since it's now the beginning of 2014. Um, so yeah, um, I may do a couple more of these. There are some sets that I want to talk about just going into the lore more than just talking about them themselves. Um, so uh, I'm Spider Prime One. Tell me what you think about me going on with the Minimates. Um, and until next time, I'm signing off.